Hello and welcome with another video. Um, today our topic is very interesting. It's something to do with stereochemistry. Stereochemistry. So today I'm here. I'm your professor, Dr. Moin Akhtar Mughal from Dr. Mikazi Institute of Chemistry, University of St. Jamshir. And I'm here with a very interesting topic related to your, uh, this uh, stereochemistry, chemistry of space. What is the main today's uh, topics that we are going to focus on is enantiomers, enantiomers, and of course, chirality. Enantiomers and chirality. So, first of all, enantiomers. What are enantiomers? Simply, enantiomers are chiral molecules. Enantiomers are chiral molecules. Now, in my previous lectures, I have explained what is a chiral. Chiral means, of course, a carbon atom that has four different groups that are attached to it. That is called a carbon. Um, that is called a chiral carbon or a stereogenic center, right? Or a chiral center. So, simply, enantiomers are chiral molecules and are mirror images. Mirror images of one another. One another. Now, we have a, a very interesting uh, uh, aspect also that, of course, enantiomers are of the molecules. Of course, the, what type of molecules? Chiral molecules that are mirror, mirror images of one another. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> they are also called non-super... They are also called non super imposable. So they are also called non super imposable. Now, this is another term, again, a new term, right? Again, a very new term for the new beginners. Now, non super imposable or super posable is one and the same thing. That means that when you are going to put one part on top of the other, all the parts, they are not going to coincide. Or you can simply say that when you are going to place one um, object on top of the other, they're all the parts, they are not going to coincide, right? This is called non-superimposable, right? As for example, um, I will tell you in, in a as for example, if you take the example of my hands, right? And now you just going to, you're going to superimpose the two hands. Okay, how you, if you put one hand down and one hand on the top of the other, right? Are they coinciding the two parts? No, they are not coinciding. The thumb is not over the other thumb, right? And this finger is not on this finger. That means they are not coinciding. All parts are not coinciding the way they are supposed to be. So this is called non-superimposable mirror images, right? Or superposable. Non-superimposable or super posable is one and the same thing. So simply, these are the current molecules that are mirror images of one another. They are also called a non-superimposable. That is, one molecule is cannot is unable to be placed on top of the other. That all parts coincide. And of course, enantiomers are mole chiral molecules that has more than one stereocenter. Now they are again something different. Again comes up. They have more than one. More than one stereo center stereo center they have more than one stereo center so now what is a stereo center i have explained you in my last previous sections what is a stereogenic center or a stereo center 
So let's start the heading in enchimers. Enantiomers, chirality, and symmetry. This is your chapter which we are going to start, or the main, you know, topics which we are going to discuss today. And I am going to start with your enantiomers and chirality, which I just have mentioned. So now I've explained to you that molecules, objects may have mirror images. They have the mirror images. Yes, if you look your one hand, if you put your one hand in front of the mirror, and if there is a mirror plane in between, you will see the image of your right hand. If you place your left hand in front of the mirror, right, if this is, for example, if this is a mirror right in front of them if this is a mirror this is your left hand and this is a mirror the scale is a mirror now what you are going to see in the mirror you are going to see the image that is formed by your left hand which is just your right hand which is identical to your right hand so this is simply how we will go along with this topic so as i just mentioned that molecules objects may have mirror images and sometimes molecules are simply um, identified or their identification form or you can say simply on coinciding exactly when superimposed right now what is superimposed i just explained you that what is superimposed um simple superimposable or superposable is one and the same thing i have explained you that if, so, if you see superimposable if you see superposable one and the same thing so it's simple when two objects are placed in the same place same space the way they're all um, components overlap and according to this definition a molecule containing all its atoms and bonds can be placed or arranged with the identical bonds and atoms in its mirror image now again you have to put this thing in your mind i have explained something i have given you some i mean idea that when two objects are placed in the same space when they are placed in the same space the way they are all their you can say uh, components overlap um, and it, it, it's simply uh, very interesting and according to this definition a molecule containing all its atoms and bonds can be placed or arranged with the with uh, you can say uh, with the identical bonds and atoms in its mirror image right I mean that is whatever you are going to look in the uh, its mirror image uh, they are supposed to be coinciding, right? They are supposed to be relating. They are supposed to be identical. So, um, we can construct an eth ethanol molecule, right? And we can uh, simply, I can show you how you can simply see uh, an example, whatever I'm explaining it to you. Uh, what is the formula for ethanol molecule? It is simply CH3. CH2 OH okay so let's construct construct a molecule with the help of our model right uh, of this ethyl alcohol and its mirror image and its mirror image now I'm going to construct a molecule of ethyl alcohol that is this molecule and its mirror image right and um, we are then going to check different things we are going to check the congruence now what is a congruence again a new word we are going to check the congruence congruence means of course something to do with the geometry of the atoms that are arranged there around them right so um, it's very interesting to check congruence it's simple that if uh, you can say all the parts if uh, if you simple, simply superimposed all parts should coincide right so this is also called 
So congruence simply means that if they are all superimposed, all parts should coincide. It's all about structures geometry. It's all about the structures geometry, right? Geometry, and it is simply the you can um, you can simply call it that all the parts of the of a molecule they should coincide. All parts should coincide which i just explained you with the hell uh, by showing you my own hands right so um now we are going to check the ethanol molecule and uh, we are going to see what happens when we are going to align the central carbon atoms and then we will see that the rest of the atoms that are attached to them the rest of the groups that are attached to it are they aligning are they i mean um, they are um, they are i mean uh, coinciding so let's see so to, i'm now going to draw the ethanol molecule and its mirror image on the board so that you can see and then i'm going to compare it by showing you the model the molecular model which i have uh, prepared for you people right this ethanol molecule and its mirror image and then i'm going to show you how you are going to see check the ethanol molecule for its um, you will test them for uh, its congruence right that is aligning the central carbons right so let's draw so let's draw the carbons Which group then metal group then a hydrogen and then again a hydrogen this is your simply ethanol molecule CH3 CH2OH now I will draw its mirror image now this is a mirror plane mirror plane Now I will draw the its mirror uh, image with a different color so that when I'm going to coincide the two molecules, you will simply see that by aligning the two carbon uh, carbons together, when we, I'm going to align the, this carbon with its uh, mirror image, uh, uh, it should you should see the difference because of the colors, right? So let's draw the carbon atom and its mirror image now. Only that there is a color difference, otherwise it's just the same. Hydrogen, right? And then of course, methyl group. And then of course the hydrogen. So this is the simply the ethanol molecule and its mirror image. Okay, so now let's see when they are going to coincide. When we are going to align the two central carbons, the other groups, that is the OH groups, the methyl groups, that they, these, they are supposed to align as well. When we are going to align the two central carbons, that is this central carbon, this is a central carbon, central carbon, this is also a central carbon right so by aligning the central carbons the rest of the um uh, the rest of the groups that are attached they are supposed to align as well this is i'm going to sh show you now here over here so now here i am aligning the two uh, i mean the car methyl group and the two et ethanol molecules and its mirror image you can see here and by aligning the central carbons that is this one the other groups they are supposed to align as well so this is the methyl group here now here you can simply see the hydroxyls the methyls the hydrogens 
now here you can simply see that by aligning these two central carbons that is this carbon and this carbon and with the just because of the color differentiation you can simply see when i'm going to align the two central carbons that is these two ones all other groups they are aligning all groups groups are simply aligning a l i double l i g n i n g all groups are aligning so therefore the molecules are congruent congruent molecules are congruent very good well and good so this was uh, i think a lovely uh, representation of an ethanol molecule we just tested it with the molecule ethanol molecule with its mirror image and when we simply we simply uh, align the two central carbons right and you can see here i said uh, simply you put both the carbons side by side we put the both the carbons side by side when the two carbons are aligning together the rest of the groups they are aligning together so they are all congruent and what does that mean so this simply this congruence it simply tells us that they are identical identical these are mo these molecules are identical so now we know that ethanol molecule ethanol is not at all an enantiomer enantiomer it's not at all an enantiomer because by aligning the two central carbons the rest of the groups they do not align right so they do not have the enantiomeric relationship they do not have the enantiomeric relationship and they are not at all enantiomers that is so i hope you followed this now because as i've mentioned that enantiomers are simply the chiral molecules that are mirror images of one another and are also called non superimposable that is one molecule cannot be placed on top of the other but here you can see when we place the two carbons together side by side the other groups they all they are aligning so that means they are simply congruent and they are not at all enantiomer so ethanol is not at all an enantiomer let's discuss the other molecule that is enantiomer okay now i will show you the molecular models of ethanol molecule and its mirror image now this is an ethanol molecule and if this is a mirror image this is a mirror plane you can simply compare it with the board on the board that is carbons the central carbon the two central carbons right and the oh groups that are attached to it now this is the mirror plane and you can simply see the mirror image of this molecule now you simply see here the two molecules that are they, that they looks um, identical they are identical yes of course they are identical and um, you if you just look at them like that yes they are simply identical and are congruent right and now if you align the two central carbons together uh, the other rest of the groups they will align as well that is this methyl group now this is a methyl group carbon with three hydrogens right this is methyl group and this is ch2 groups both and an oh group so now i'm going to align the central carbons so that the rest of the groups they will also align so let's see if this happens yes of course it will happen let's align the two carbons together here there you can see simply the two carbons they are aligned the two hydrogens they are aligned the two hydrogens here they are aligning and of course when you look over here you simply see the two hydrogens by simply aligning the two carbons the two hydrogens at the top they are aligning and the rest of the groups they are also aligning and then of course the most important ones the oh groups you can see they are aligning they align together so this all proves our statement that ethanol molecule is not at all an enantiomer it's not an, at all an enantiomer though they they are it's identical it's congruent but it's not at all an enantiomers and this is something very interesting and i built up this model for you people so that you can simply see so the carbons are placed side by side and we have aligned and uh, we, we have just seen that the methyl groups and the oh groups they are uh, i mean they are all aligned right the methyls are also aligned these are the methyl groups they are also aligned 
Now let's check the 2-butanol molecule, right? The second example is 2-butanol. 2-butanol molecule for its congruence and whether to check whether it's an enantiomer or not. So let's check 2-butanol molecule by drawing its uh, structure and of course the mirror image that is formed oh, at this side. We are going to draw the structure at this place and then we are going to see its mirror image on the right side. Let's draw. So I will draw the 2-butanol molecule. C2H5. Hydrogen and of course a metal group. This is the structure of your 2 butanol molecule. Now we are going to test its mirror image, right? By drawing it over here with another pen so that when we are going to align them, we will see the difference uh, that whether the all the other groups they are aligning as well or not so let's draw with a blue pen the other carbon of course the hydroxyl group and the methyl group The hydrogen and of course C2H5 so this is the 2-butanol molecule and its mirror image I just separate it from here butanol molecule and its mirror image now here you are going to see when I'm going to align them together so you will see that whether the groups are going to coincide or not now I've drawn the model of two butanol molecule right and the end its mirror image and now I've aligned the two carbons together this aligning the two central carbons together what is going to happen right when we will simply align the two central carbons you can see here that of course the rest of the groups what are they conveying to us when we are going to align the two central carbon atoms right so these molecules are simply showing, showing us some non congruent structure non congruent behavior non congruent congruent behavior right And this 2-butanol molecule is the best example of a non-congruent molecule, right? So, let's see what's happening. Now, here I have uh, simply tested the 2-butanol molecule and its mirror image uh, for checking out the congruence of the molecule, right? And uh, I have just simply aligned the two carbon atoms and uh, I will look for the other groups to align as well and now here you can simply see that yes of course these two groups they are aligning they align yes these two they align any of the two groups they are aligning but the, there are others the rest of the groups other groups they are supposed to align as well these one they fail to align they fail to align failed to align this group and these two groups they failed to whereas the rather the rest of the groups they are aligning so they are supposed to they should all align otherwise this molecule and its mirror image would be non-congruent right this would be uh, as i've just mentioned here they are non-congruent and would be considered as different molecules but due to possessing identical connectivities like you can see the identical connectivities here identical connectivities right they have identical 
identical connectivities right so because of these identical connectivities they are termed as stereoisomers stereoisomers right just because they have identical connectivities they are termed as stereoisomers so simply now here enantiomers are simple molecules so this is an enantiomer this proves that this is an enantiomer enantiomer right and what are enantiomers these are the simple molecules that are non congruent so enantiomers this is a perfect example of an enantiomer the two butanol molecule that is this one and now these are simply non congruent they show uh, showed as the non congruent uh, behavior as the groups the rest of the groups they fail to align when you are align uh, when you are simply aligning the two carbons the uh, other groups all supposed to align but here the case is different so uh, just because of similar connectivities between them uh, they are called as stereoisomers which i just mentioned here so enantiomers are the simple molecules that are non congruent mirror images so two butanol stereoisomers are called enantiomers and have an enantiomeric relationship they have an enantiomeric 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 relationship relationship right it they has an enantiomeric relationship which is relationship of an object and its mirror image what is an enantiomeric relationship and an a relationship of an enantiomer of, of an object and its mirror image which is non congruent right simply which is non congruent so we have to keep in mind that enantiomers are not only mirror images but non congruent mirror images they are not only mirror images but they are non congruent mirror images so now i will show you the molecular model also and i'm going to align the two central carbons to show you uh, exactly if the other groups they also align by aligning the rest the two carbons side by side the oh and the and these um, these groups they are aligning or the some of the groups they are failing to align because when you are aligning any of the two groups the rest of the groups they are supposed to align but if it's not if not if it's not the case then of course it's an enantiomer and it's um, it's a stereoisomers due to having the similar uh, connectivities because of the similar connectivities right so enantiomers now are also said to be chiral that is having property of chirality which i have explained you right so let's uh, now build the model of 2 butanol and i'll show you now so now here this is the molecular model of uh, 2 butanol and its mirror image this is a 2 2 butanol molecule that is supposed to be an object and its mirror image now here you can simply see all the atoms together right ch3 ch2 then CHOH and CH3 again so this is the molecule and how it looks like when you when you simply see uh, its mirror image so this is this is the mirror image of this 2 butanol molecule now we are going to align any of the two carbon atoms and we will see that the rest of the all the all the other atoms they are supposed to align as well right so let's see how it's happening so this is simply the two butanol molecule now we are going to align any of the two carbon atoms so the rest of the groups they are supposed to align as well now here if you simply see here if we try to align it like this that the oh this should align here yes they are aligning right and this methyl group and this methyl group it's aligning but the rest of the groups they are not aligning right as here you can see this molecule it has got CH whereas here it has got CH2 the connectivity is different right so the, there is difference in I mean the alignment of the molecules the molecules are not aligning if any of the two groups are aligning the rest of the groups are not aligning as well 
so this is something that shows us that it's a non-congruent behavior this is a non-congruent behavior and they are failing to align the as here you can see ch3h so the same thing is happening here ch3 is not aligning as one is a hydro a hydrogen atom and the other side is a methyl group so it's failing to align so this simply shows confirms 2-butanol as a uh, enantiomer and um, it's um, it has been tested and it's uh, with its uh, of course with its uh, object and its mirror image and we align we align the two central carbon atoms the rest of the, they failed to align that if we simply put two carbons side by side the rest of the uh, groups they fail to align right if two of the groups are aligning the rest are fail to align so simply uh, in anchovers are now it's a very you know it's clear now that ethanol was uh, a, a molecule that was i mean uh, congruent right and it has uh, been found as uh, having a non enantiomeric relationship whereas uh, as it's all the you know parts were coinciding here it, the case is different with the two butanol molecule with this two butanol molecule you can simply see that they're all parts when you are going to simply when you're going to um, uh, see the mirror image of the object you will see that the groups they fail to align few of them are aligning but the rest are not aligning so simply uh, enantiomers are these are the they have but they are the simple molecules and are non-congruent mirror images so two butanol is a uh, also called a stereoisomer just because it has the similar connectivities it has got the similar connectivities so it's also called a stereoisomer and uh, um, it is um, of course and it has an enantiomeric relationship as it's an enantiomer it has an enantiomeric relationship and that is a relationship between an object and the mirror images which is, is showing as a non-congruent behavior and uh, so we have now we have to keep in mind that for of course enantiomers are not only mirror images but are non-congruent mirror images okay so i hope you find this video interesting and i have explained you i mean the two very interesting um, examples uh, of of course of ethanol molecule of course first one this was ethanol and i've shown you the mirror images and i've coincided it in the groups to show you and the all the groups were coinciding and then we have used i mean the two butanol molecule so we have used these two examples today for uh enantiomer to for proving to be an enantiomer and for uh, i mean seeing that whether the compound is enantiomer or not if it's not an enantiomer so ethanol is not an enantiomer whereas this Tubitonol molecule is an enantiomer as um, simply it's showing us a non-congruent behavior and uh, all groups are not are not, are not failing to are failing to align so it's not superimposable on its mirror image whereas this one was superimposable on its mirror image so i hope you find this video interesting you will share you will learn with the help of these molecular models and you will learn more uh, i hope you will uh, you will this will help out to help you out in understanding the connectivities that what is what are the connectivities and why they are called stereoisomers and how uh, all this happens in space when you are i mean you're looking all the models here so it's very interesting when you are comparing and when you are looking all the arrangement of atoms all the connectivities how they are connected and when you are allowed allow, allow, when you start i mean aligning them they fail to align and whereas in the ethanol molecule it was something different the case was different all the groups they align and uh, so I mean, this is something very interesting and uh, this was something very, you know, uh, important for you people to follow. So, simply you have to, to check the co uh, congruence. That is, if it is superimposed, all parts should coincide. And um, it's all about structures, geometry. And uh, for ethanol molecule, you have already seen, we have checked it that by aligning the central carbons, the OH, the methyl groups, they also align. So, 
the, and it also forces the other hydrogens to align as well in the case of ethanol so this is all when done it, it is done when rotating when the molecule is simply rotating in space this is all done when it is simply having rotations in the space they are constantly rotating this is happening there all over there so I hope you find this video interesting and you will learn from it you will share among your friends and you will compare it with your notes with your i mean books and uh, you must um, make a molecular model of your i mean with yourself and you should see the connectivities and you should uh, try to align the molecules together and in this way you will be able to learn more easily and more accurately uh, hope to see you again with something new something interesting something more and, and knowledgeable thank you very much